Hey guys, what's happening? Jay here from smarthelping.com. We are talking about a finance topic today called MOIC. What does MOIC mean? Well, multiple on invested capital. <clears throat> now this metric I include in pretty much all of the financial models you'll see at smarthelping.com. And I call it equity multiple, it's the same thing. Uh, so the calculation is really simple. It's just the total cash inflows divided by the total invested capital over time. And that's pretty much it. So I'll give you uh, some examples of what this might look like. Let's say you have cash out and cash in from, and you have a model or how, however it happened. All, all MOIC cares about is the cash in and out in cumulative over the whole investment period. Um, so, you know, you could do a period one, etc. and just goes out in time. These could be months, years, it doesn't matter. Uh, MOIC does not take into account the time value of money, whereas an IRR calculation does. So if you invest a million dollars today and get back $3 million in 10 years, the IRR is going to be something. If you invest the same amount and get that $3 million in two years, the IRR is going to be a lot higher. However, the MOIC would be the same in both scenarios. <clears throat> uh, let's just look at an easy example here. So let's say we invest um, $1,000 in period one, and then in period two, we get $100 back, 100, 100, 100, 100, and then let's say, you know, these could be different amounts too. And then let's say in the end, we get, you know, 3,000 back. So your MOIC ca uh, calculation, you can calculate it over time if you want. Is just simply going to be the sum of any cash in or uh, cash in as in basically available for distributions for the investor. Because um, we're looking at invested capital and the return on that. So you do some of this divided by the sum of this. And that's it. And there's your multiple. So here it's obviously negative until we get to the end and it's 3.7 and this is fine that these are um i mean i guess if you don't want to see the little thing there you could do that um but here's your calculation and it let's say you invested more like another 500 now these numbers would change. Uh, another 500, another 500. And here, as long as the MOIC is above one, it means you've made some amount of profit or a positive return on your investment. So here we actually don't see it above one until the end. And this could be calculated, you know, if on a single investment with returns over time or investments over time with returns over time. You can see it, what the calculation is here. Um, you could also calculate this a, a couple different ways if you wanted to just do a cumulative cash invested. You could do that. Cumulative uh, returned. Now what's interesting is, and then that you're and then you just do this divided by this is your multiple. And you can see these will match uh, the same numbers here. Let me extend the decimal. So this is MOIC. Now, it's it, it, more advanced things. You could see um, cash flow waterfalls with joint ventures where the MOIC is the hurdle rate. You could also, you, you'll have other ones with an IRR as the hurdle rate. Uh, it just depends on the deal and the terms and the, the operating agreement with the joint venture. But um, that gets more complicated, uh, but it is possible to calculate. If, um, uh, we're not going to get super into that here. I just wanted to kind of talk about MOIC, what it is, how it's calculated. Um, it can be used to evaluate the... Uh, it, one thing that's good is is people can look at it and know immediately what their return on capital is. Okay, 1.48. That means I got all my money back. 
plus 48 percent return on top of that so i technically made a 48 percent roi over the life of the investment or if i invested a million dollars i made I got back one million four hundred eighty thousand. Um, that's pretty much it. If you want to check out more, you can go to smarthelping.com. Um, if you look under the joint venture tabs, the one hurdle waterfall hurdle I do have that's like this is under the uh, preferred equity two, where it has an equity multiple as the hurdle rate. Um, we also got ones with IRR hurdles, simple preferred return rates, all kinds of stuff here. So you can check that out or you can buy the whole bundle for $199. It's very valuable. I can't tell you how much headache and hours and time have gone into making these work and be dynamic. Uh, tons and tons of hours and it's really valuable because these are used in all kinds of deals. Um, and all these templates, you just plug the numbers in at the top, kind of like you'd have here. And then all the logic works down through the whole waterfall for the um, joint venture cash distributions. And remember, you could always buy all the models. I've got <clears throat> many startup financial models and projection templates for all kinds of different industries, SaaS, real estate, um, just industry specifics. All sorts of financial models here that I've spent, you know, better part of a decade building out and uh, doing work for clients so you can buy everything I've ever built um, if you go to the learn more link at the top of this tab financial models tab you get everything for $9.99 and it's a very good jump start to learning finance and spreadsheets with a lot of valuable information in uh, business logic for projections for tracking things all sorts of uh, sorts of really cool finance stuff in there all right well that's moic and i will see you later